theater downtown. <laughs> One of the reasons we did this here yeah. in a theater is because I haven't been in a play in 17 years. <laughs> and have you thought about it? Oh, yeah. I think about it all the time. Do you pine for it? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I really, really miss it. I do. It's a thing that I had to. It's a sacrifice that I made for my children that they have no appreciation of. Do you know what I mean? It's like, so? Plays are stupid. I mean, no, they don't say that, but they just, you know, they don't understand the, um, the attachment that I, that I had to doing oh, that. This is the steering committee lunch where we plant the Christmas trees. It's very important. I'm going to make chicken pie art, zucchini soup, and my heavenly It's a chocolate. mom she plays in her new movie, One True Thing, a mother dedicated to serving a husband and family. Based on the novel by Anna Quinlan, One True Thing rang true for Meryl Streep. I've always wanted to do a movie about a mother that was... Uh, honest about what they do, that what they do to everybody in the culture. So, um, uh, they're terrifying to women, and they're terrifying to men, <laughs> and they're of no interest whatsoever to uh, young men and uh, you know teenagers. And, and so, it's 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 difficult to find that niche which tells a, a true story about a fully dimensional woman. And at the same time is um, <clears throat> screen worthy and, and going to bring people in to the theater. Every time I see you on screen, whatever role it is you choose, the second I see you in it, you own it. Your voice is different. You physically may be different. Mm. How do you do that? Oh, well, that's acting. <laughs> I mean, it is. That's what I like to do. That's total immersion into possibility. What a life I could imagine I lived. And uh, that's uh, infinitely interesting you know, to me. And you can't, there's no bottom to it. I read a lot of scripts. And my heart starts to race at some point when I have a, a when I read a character that I want to do, and so that's the, the recognition of a like soul or something in there that I want to say. I'm so inscrutable to myself. I don't really know. You know, I've never been in analysis, and I don't understand very much about why I do what I do. This is why you know I've, I've been very shy to um, give an acting class or anything because. <laughs> and uh, I'm yeah, always yeah, yeah. no, no, no. I don't know how to construct it in a logical method that I could impart to someone. I think a class given by me would be something like, well, you know, you just kind of like feel it, and um, you know, just trust yourself and all the stupid platitudes that you know don't don't help. A lot of it is just great, deep belief. It's just like religious faith in what you're doing. And you just believe in the character. Is it a craft? Is it a job? You mean, is it highfalutin or midfalutin or <laughs> a paycheck? Yeah, I don't know. There, when other people do it, sometimes when I watch other people do it really well, I think. It's beyond an art, you know, it's like mu making music. But at its best, for you? At its best, it's like flying, you know, it's great. It's great. And that's the part I wouldn't give up, and that's the part I won't give up, even though I love my children and being home and doing what they need me to do. I certainly also need to express myself in this way.